Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little haul from things I bought at AliExpress and Daiso. Uh, hopefully you'll see something that interests you and I hope this helps you decide whether to get it or not. So I ordered a couple of microns from a seller on AliExpress. I got a one, a two, and a brush to try out. So these guys I've already opened up because I've already played with them. I couldn't wait. <laughs> these are some natural micas, mica powder, really finely ground mica powder. Uh, I got these on AliExpress too. And I got inspired to look for something like that because I converted some of my old pure mica eyeshadows into watercolors and have had a really fun time playing with them. Um, I mixed it with some binder that I made with acacia powder, uh, distilled water, glycerin, honey, and some ox gall, and it's been working really well. You can see on this abstract piece. So they just give this beautiful metallic accent and they bleed into the other colors if you do wet on wet. They're super fun. Um, so super easy to make at home. Um, I actually already made up paints for these four. Actually, I did three guys because these two to me, look really really similar. I'm not quite sure what the difference between these two are. They just came in a four pack of different golds. Um, so I just tried one of them out. Um, but I guess if you guys want to see how it's made I can probably do a video on that if you want to let me know in the comments and I can maybe demo this one and see if it's very different to this guy. But I ended up getting a um, sort of a really deep orangey gold, um, more of a yellow gold and then this super weird <laughs> kind of green green gold which here that is swatched at the top here I haven't really used it on much um, I tend to like the, the more goldish colors rather than the greenish colors the orange and the yellow um, but yeah it turned out really well and it acts just like watercolor paint here on this abstract piece that I did you can see it's super shiny and you can apply it nice and thick and dries down really well, it doesn't flake off or smudge or anything once it's dry, so it just acts like watercolour paint. Yeah, so that was super fun. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a demo of how Ooh, okay, so there's a couple of things in here. Two. Whoa. Oh, I know what this is. Wow, that packaging is amazing. It's totally encapsulated in there. Like a, like a ball. <laughs> okay, so let's crack it open. So this actually contains a washi tape holder and cutter. It looks like it has like large teeth at the top and then maybe you can pop this out somehow. Ow, that's cutting into my finger. I advise not pushing the blades onto your fingers. 
not a great idea. Oh, I think maybe if I slide it. <gasps> Science. So you slide it out and I think you can change this. And then slide back in for smaller teeth. <gasps> that is so clever. But do they cut? I don't know. Let's open the other package. Oh, washi tape. Ooh, I love those colors. But it is smaller than I thought again because I can't read measurements. Oh, there are two big ones here. So what I wanted it for was actually to mask the edge of a painting, um, like stick it down on the board or mask it so that you get a clean edge in your journals. Um, this is super thin. It might work. It depends. I would probably just have to control my painting so that I'm not going over the edge. Let's see if we can take this out. Let's try the thin cutter first. So, how do we find an edge here? Oh, what if I put them in backwards? No, I did. Well, awesome. Okay, so let's let me just show you that again, how it's done. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how this cuts. <gasps> oh, that works really well. And so you get a little munched edge there. Done. I'm a pro at this already. Let's see the big chompers. this and wow okay so they're pretty big so here's the comparison here so that works really well I'm excited about that and then they can just be stored in here it'd be nice if it had some kind of lid on there I think they're made to stack so you can stack a bunch of them on there I just got one but I might have to get some kind of protection because the edges of these are still going to get dust on them All right Let's see what's in this one, because I don't remember. <gasps> Looks like a little sketchbook. And I think I remember on the site, it said it was cotton pulp. So I was really excited, but this doesn't say that and it's teeny tiny and I think I thought it was bigger <laughs> even though the dimensions are there by the way if you are looking for an awesome pair of scissors oh my gosh Amazon I think there was a two-pack they are amazing Titanium nonstick, they cut through anything. And I'm a left hander, and they're perfect for left handers. Ooh, so it's cute inside, and it does have a texture. So it's this protective piece here. And then the texture, sort of a medium texture nice that it's not super uniform I like that there are some distinguishable lines there and it looks like they are perhaps perforated yeah so it looks like these are little perforated pages so you could tear them out so I tried out the little sketchbook and 
I think it works great. It's uh, I did primarily wet on wet, so I did wet on wet on all of these, and it, I mean it warped a little bit, but because it has this elastic, you can keep it shut, and I just store it under um, something heavy whenever I'm not using it, and it seems to have helped flatten them out, but they, it does warp a little bit. And most of these, actually all of these I did, I wet the whole page first and then put paint onto it. Um, and they seem to work great. And also the tape is a perfect fit. The little tape that I thought was gonna be too thin here, it is the perfect fit for uh, this type of sketchbook, just little to have a little border. So let's take it off and see whether it damages the paper. I'm gonna go nice and slow. So that came off really easy. And this is um, India ink up here. So it's pretty heavily saturated in India ink and it did not leak through. So that's awesome. None of the paper has lifted so far. I've just got to take it slow. Sometimes I'll use a hairdryer to warm up the glue a little bit, but yeah, that gave a nice crisp edge. Yeah, so I think the little sketchbook and the um, tape is pretty good. I would buy both of those again. Okay, so this guy I did not get off AliExpress. I got it from Daiso. And I really wanted to try it just because these colors look a little pastel and I don't have any pastel crayons and this was a buck 50 for 20 the ingredients are yeah so it's paraffin wax calcium and carbonate I think they're supposed to be calcium carbonate I think those two go together <laughs> I don't know what they are maybe maybe otherwise it's I think calcium carbonate's chalk isn't it anyway so wax crayons uh, not oil crayons um, so let's open them and have a look and see what the other colors look like. Wax crayons like often are kind of hard. I want to see if these, ooh, these are buttery. Yeah, so you'd hardly even have to put any pressure on there and you get some color. Oh, that is nice. I like those. I thought they would be really black luster, not much pigment, and go on really waxy, but they're super smooth. Okay, so I got a couple of other things from Daiso when I was there. I got this little metal pencil case and this magnetic tape. And what I'm hoping to do is use this as a little palette to put in my little full pans here when I fill them up with colors that I've made. Mm, not great adhesion there. It's coming off pretty easy. That may not be the greatest tape there. Let's just see if it sticks sticks to the outside. Yay! So that might work really well. It's quite a good magnet. It's just that it doesn't <laughs> stick very well to the the thing that you want to magnetize. Yeah, that's pretty crappy actually. Some zots here. Let's see if we use one of these guys, whether that will help. I 
that seems better adhesion save this dollar fifty purchase by spending more money on glue here sticking them on but you know it's already bought so it's free right these can all line up in here or I could do them that way get more more in there could probably I wonder if I could fit a brush in here too <gasps> imagine so that could be quite useful for a little travel palette Still in there. We have another AliExpress. What is this one? Ooh, stickers! Oh, these are cute. Look at these patterns. I'd forgotten. <laughs> I got that. They take so long to ship that it's easy to forget what you've ordered. Uh, they're going to be really cute. So what I had in mind with these guys is putting them on uh, a project and actually with these ones with the texture on it already, the designs, I was thinking of just leaving them on there. But with these other ones, I was thinking of putting them on and painting over them, using them kind of like masking fluid to get perfect circles. Um, so I have all different sizes here. I thought I had purchased a pack that had different sizes within it so like a, a bigger one and then a tinier one in there so you could have space these beautiful earth tones oh yeah this is the one I was thinking about so there's these big circles that are just one circle and then this one and then the teeny tiny which are super cute and then there's this one which has a ring I don't know if you can see it on camera but it has a ring as well as the one in the middle so that they're so delicate made out of washi tape but that comes apart so there's a ring there too which I thought would be really cool that's kind of easy to crease here so I need to be a bit more light-handed with that so I was thinking of putting them down and then painting over it and then pulling them off and it would leave a white ring there um, but these are really lovely colors too I could easily just incorporate them into the piece and paint over them and have just added texture and a, and a circle layer oh so that's cute that's really exciting that's that's the one I was thinking of when I got them. So this guy is dot stickers. I think I just maybe got a little carried away with the idea of ordering circle stickers. So I'm not quite sure how this one is different to that guy other than the colors. Yeah, a little bit bigger for that guy. So just various sizes. And another sheet. And this one's a little damaged. Yeah, the packaging wasn't great. There was no padding in here, so they're kind of bent and dinged up, which is not great. And these are tiny little ones too. So these feel more sort of plasticky than these guys. These are more papery washi tape. These are more of a plastic feel so these have these cute little patterns on it I honestly don't remember ordering this one <laughs> and I'm glad I did it's very creative yeah so these are Pretty transparent to you like washi tape so I hope that was a helpful little first impression for these haul items I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening and I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching guys bye